Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from beautiful Muscat, Oman. Super early, 7 a.m. Today I'm going to take you to have some traditional Pakistani breakfast here in the Rui area at Punjab Suites. This is a 50-year-old shop and they do traditional Pakistani breakfast. So we have halva puri, we have paratha, we have chana, we have lentils, I mean dal. I cannot wait to eat. And yeah, today it is early, 7 a.m. Uh, we're gonna eat lots of amazing food. This place opens at 5 a.m., right? Hussein, how you doing, bro? How you doing? Ready to go? Yeah, let's go. The guy's cooking up all the food. Oh, wow. So over there we have, what, samosa? Samosa, and over here we have parata. So it's alu parata. Let's go inside. Let's go in the kitchen. These guys are so nice. Punjab sweets. Oh, wow. Oh, I love these. All, all these pakoras, nice fritters. Look at all this, guys. Hello, how you doing? Everything good? Good, yeah. Pakora, laham kebab, shami kebab. You have shami kebab? Shami kebab. Shami kebab. Okay, okay, it's good. Chori, laham kebab, shami kebab, pakora, laddu, namak para, pani puri. Oh, you have pani puri as well? No way! No way! All right, all right. And so, karak tea. And karak tea, okay. So let's, uh, let, can we go in the okay. kitchen really fast? Let's go, let's go. Let's rock and roll. Assalamu alaikum. Lahore, 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 Lahore. Woo! Feels like I'm in Pakistan again. Love it. So right here we have the chicken biryani, right? Beautiful look with the spices, cooking its own juices. Oh, this is this is truly authentic Punjabi breakfast here. Oh, and this is all samosas. Eating samosa. It's veg samosa. Veg samosa. Potato. Woo! Oh yeah, that's so good. Nice and hot in here. This is amazing. Making uh, paratha. Aloo paratha. Paratha paratha, aloo paratha, muri paratha. Okay, so what's the difference? Uh, three types. Three types. So what are the types? Aloo? Aloo paratha, muri paratha, sada paratha. Uh, four one, anda paratha. Perfect. Any spicy? Spicy? Spicy. Yeah? Spicy. Give me all the spice, man. Oh. Chilies, give me everything. Oh man, we're gonna eat so good. After 6 p.m. you have barbecue. Barbecue. Wow. Tikka kebab, burger, chicken burger, randa burger, cheese burger, and anything. So come here for breakfast 5 a.m. to around 11 a.m. And then after 5 p.m. you can come here for barbecue, Pakistani barbecue. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, that's how it works, right? It just puffs up like a big pillow. Huge pillow. Wow. It's gonna keep going, huh? And everybody here is Punjabi, right? Ayva. Ayva. Oh, look at all that oil. Yeah, big, big puri. Love the puri. This is my favorite. This, you know what they call me in America? Puri King. <laughs> I'm the Puri King. <laughs> wow, we got this guy. Is he gonna put this alu in it or not? Amazing. I love how he flattens it. Nice, super thin, right? Super thin. Oh man, coming into this kitchen, my mouth is watering. I am ready to eat that Puri. Oh, that parata. I love it. So right here we have the sweets, and then over here we have a mix, right? So all oh, we have jalebi right there. You have a mix of like borfi here, you have halva, and right here we have the karak. This is masala chai, karak. Mm -hmm. So I got my karak. This is the masala chai. Woo, so hot, scorching. And if you guys don't know why there's so many Pakistanis here, well, 20% of the population in Oman is a mix of Pakistanis, Bangladeshis, and Indian, right? And I have my chai here. Ooh, it's so hot. But you know the trick, right? Right here. I can do it with my eyes closed, but I won't be that brave right now. So I keep going, right? Ooh, so hot. And then what you do is you should leave it in the cup that didn't have the heat, right? So it didn't have it, so it cools down, right? Obviously, this absorbs so much heat. Oh, it's like, it's like boiling. <laughs> Try this. How is it? Oh, it's great, man. Super frothy, nice and milky. We have the bubbles on top. Lots of cardamom, lots of cardamom. Wow, what a great day, 7 a.m. 
Amazing. What a beautiful city. Hussein, you ready to eat? I am ready to eat, man. Now we're ready. I'm super ready. This guy just set up a table for us outside. This is amazing. Inside, it's all Pakistanis. You know, it's purely, truly authentic. Authentic Pakistani food right here. Oh, man, what do we have here? This is... Chana? Dal and chana. Yeah, together. I actually haven't seen it like that before. And right here we have halva. Yeah. Raita. So you take this like that and pour it on it. Very nice. Oh yes, finally the puri. Massive puris. Eggs? Yeah. Spicy. Omelet. Nice. Yeah. Oh, let's do it. So that's the plain parata, right? Yeah. And then over here, he's bringing a lassi. Perfect. So this lassi is just a sour lassi. It's a sweet lassi. That's a sweet lassi. Yeah. Perfect. All right, and then we have everything, basically. Eggs, parata, so yeah. you mix it, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And for me, my favorite thing of all this is the puri. So you get the puri, use one hand, guys, one hand. This one is super flaky, just how it is in Lahore. Right, and you get some of this halva just like that, super sweet, mixed with the oil. Mm -hmm. mm. Amazing halva, so good. Mm -hmm. No, oh, combination, nice and sweet, it was super crumbly, very flaky. Mm. Love the oil, yeah, man, yes. This is like takes me straight back to Islamabad, <laughs> to Karachi. Let's get a bunch of this halva. This is like almost like a pumpkin halva. Right? Like, Looks like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. No. Plain parata. Look how beautiful this is. So super light, super thin, nice and toasty. So let's get a piece. Always use one hand guys, like that. Then get a piece of this egg. Wow, nice omelet. Amazing. Amazing. Chana and Chana and dal. Mm -hmm. Super, mm. right? Try it. So grab some of the parata, right? So just break off a piece of parata right here. So that, don't get too much, you know, small bites. Go in, you get this beautiful chana mixed with dal and raita. Mmm, super light, nice and chunky. Mmm, all the combination. Love this parata. You know what I like about it is that it's so light. It's not one of these sticks, like multiple layers. It's just nice and flaky. And you just grab more. Mmm. Dude, what a great breakfast. Mm hmm. Combination. Mm hmm. Great mix, always pair the puri with the halva. That's a staple, right? The parata, you mix it with all this. Ooh, I got chili. Mmm, that's spicy. And what do we have here? Shami kebab. Shami kebab. Potato, spices. I forgot the last time I tried this, but it's basically like a potato fritter, right? Nice potato fritter, super, super thick. You know, as you can see, lots of potatoes in there, spices. So it like, has to be turmeric in here, right? Because if not, it wouldn't be this yellow. Neat, neat. Good? Nice. So it almost looks like a pakora mixed with vegetables, but it has meat. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, I love the spices in here. Yeah, it's not too spicy. Cuban. For me, there's nothing like this mix, this combination, right? The parata, the chana, and the dal. I, mean, I actually haven't seen it like this. It's different. It's different, right? Eh? Mm -hmm. The pairing of both chana and dal. Mm -hmm. And also some yogurt. The trick is in yogurt. Right here, we have a sweet lassi. If you guys don't know, lassi is a dairy drink from Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, they all have it. The reason for this is the cool down heat, right? I just had some spice. Oh, nice. 
not too thick. You know, Punjab style is very thick. I went to Amritsar and Lahore, very, very thick. This one's nice and watered down, a little more watered down. And obviously, the Karak. Mmm, so good, my friend. So what's left? This guy. So what is this, like an onion pakora? Beautiful onion pakora. So usually you dip this into a chutney. Very oily. Mmm. -hmm. Crispy. Crispy, nice and crunchy. If you've ever been to like Chili's or Friday's, if you have the onion bloom, the onion, fried onion, same thing. Yeah. This is better. <laughs> this is freaking amazing. This is yeah, that's one thing that people don't get about the difference between Pakistani and Indian cuisine. The big difference, it's way meatier in Pakistan. Lots of beef. Oh, what do we have here? Mm. This is a sauce of... It's tomato chutney? For, for pakora. Tomato chutney, right? So it is about tomato, some cumin, and some chili inside it, mixed with little oil, and it comes like that. So it's thick and put spicy. That, put that inside it, like this. Sweet also, there's some sugar inside. Oh yeah? So it's like a, a sweet and chili, right? Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. This reminds me of like uh, some of the Chinese uh, sweet and sour. I'm gonna mix this with this beautiful onion pakora with this sweet and sour chili. Mmm, nice and glazy. Mm -hmm. Almost like a marmalade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a great breakfast. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Guys, I am so happy right now. And now, we just mix anything, right? Just I'm gonna have some more of this though. With puri, with everything. With the kebab. Mm. This is the best. That kebab? That's not chapli kebab, what is it called? Uh, meat, meat, laham kebab. Laham kebab. Meat kebab. Meat kebab. Yeah. Wow. I guess I'll get us some more of this, bro. Oh, this is heaven. Preface of champions, right? <laughs> Seriously. Oh, man. This mix. Mm. Spicy omelet. Yeah. Always get the last thing. Always. I'm pretty good at verse at this, huh? If you said it's all mine, it's all mine then. <laughs> I mean, the flaky puri is amazing, right? And it's exactly the same as in Pakistan. Like, identical. The same, and look at that, you just wrap it a little crazy and add some other stuff, huh? Man. <laughs> like that. Oh, awesome, some right there, you think? <laughs> ah, the chutneys, right? All the sauces. Yeah. Right there, oh. <laughs> Combination, eh? It's a crazy combination. Mmm. Like, so sweet. You got a little chili. Mmm. Oh, man. I feel great. <laughs> This is home for me, man. <laughs> I'll tell you, I feel most at home in Asia. Really, yeah? Yeah, even though my kids is where my heart is, in Miami, India, Pakistan, Middle East, I just feel something very special here. People and the food. Exactly. Exactly. This is how you get satisfied, happy, and you feel like you're in heaven. Dude, we have dessert? Yep, Asmalai, Rasgulla, Laddu, Gulab Jaman, Barfi, all of fantastic stuff. It's all fantastic stuff. Right here we have the Ras Malai. This is my all-time favorite. It's like basically like milk balls soaking in milk. For breakfast. Yeah. It's the first time for me. Mm -hmm. And over here we have a bunch of different things, right? So we have Gulab Jamun. But this one has like a stuffing. Same thing with the rasgula. It's like yeah. filled. Then you have ladu. You have a bunch of different burfis. So burfis are like very thick, sugary pastries, right? And not pastries, um, desserts, right? Sweets. So many of them. Wow, what do we do? What do you want to try? You going with ladu? Yeah, Perfect, go. Nice. Good. Sweet? Good. I'm sure it's good. Let me try it. Let me try this. Oh, nice and sticky. That's how you know it's so sweet. Mm-hmm. Whoa. 
It's too sweet. <laughs> and right here, we're going to break this guy up. So this is a different type of rasgulla here. We'll have a little... It's like a rasgulla, but it's like filled with like some white cream. Mmm. Mm. It's like a rasgulla, but like rose. 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 Two mm. layers. Mm -hmm. One Whoa. is pink, one is white. It's so delicious. Wow, that one was super delicious. Very, very decadent. Woo. And now we'll try a burfi. Which one do you recommend? Oh. All of them have different tastes. This is burfi. Burfi of, of milk. Yeah. This is a milk burfi. So it's super nice and thick, right? Lots of sugar. Mm -hmm. Sugar rush. <laughs> Woo. I feel amazing. I think we'll be running to the this airport. Pera, milk pera. Milk pera. Milk pera. Milk pera. Milk pita. Let's try it. Mm. Not as sweet, crumbly, dense, and there was an almond on top. Hey, why not? So good. So this is gulab jamun with milk paste. I've never seen this before. Usually gulab jamun is like a nice, like almost like a donut soaking in sugar syrup, right? In Pakistan, they always have it hot. Very hot, but this is different. It's yeah, unique. One. Oh, it's like, oh, it's hard. You know what? That's milk? Yep. Mm. Like a thick, like frozen milk. Yep. Mm. You have to, you have to, you have to. Really? The mm. best gulab jamun ever. Yeah. Mm. So good, right? So good. So we are done. We're gonna have one last thing to end this whole meal, but you know what? I can't leave this beautiful egg. I mean, between the tomato, the onion, and the chili. It's amazing. But then you wrap it, get a little bit of this parata, right? If I can, break it. Beautiful. So you wrap it, like that? Mm-hmm. Mm. And you know what? I love this sweet chili chutney. So my friends here are too kind. They're like, David, you have to try one more thing before you have the grand finale. And this is a walnut halva. Beautiful, super thick, it's hot. We have walnuts, we have almonds, and we have the halva. It is sweet, very decadent. Mm. Crumbly, sticky, mm. and the walnuts. Oh, you guys have it. I would have this with the pori, for sure. Dude, this is the best halva. We're gonna have some pani puri next. Oh, wow, I'm full. <laughs> And that is a surprise. We're having a chat called Pani Puri, the number one street food in all of Pakistan, Bangladesh, and India, right here. This one looks amazing. So he has uh, some beautiful chickpeas mixed with uh, some cabbage, right? Some spices. Oh, and you're also going to put the chili, right? Okay, So how we're going to do? You're going to build it for us? Perfect. This is how it always is, right? They build it for you. They fill it up with that nice mix of chickpeas, this one has some spices, some vegetables, and then he's gonna get this chili, beautiful, sweet chili chutney, and the raita, right? Yep. So it's gonna be a nice mix. So he's saying, I'm mixing in the water. Okay, so just like that. I just dip it, right? Just like dip it, drown it, and then quick. Mm. Okay. Wow. Crazy combination. A little spicy, nice and sweet. The rice that cools it down. I mean, the combination is out of control, man. This is an amazing pani puri. Amazing, amazing. I think what makes it is this mix, right? So you have onion, you have potato, you have cucumber, a few different things in here in terms of masalas, right? Some nice spices. So you should fill it up like that. Then you go in and get the raita. So like this, raita. Beautiful. Yes, this is nice and sweet right there. Mm -hmm. 
And this is not pani puri without the pani. So that's the masala water. So you gotta mix it nice, fill it up, drown it. Basically, just drown it. How is it? Fantastic, yeah? Sour. It's a crazy combination. So to end this meal off, I'm gonna mix in this beautiful pani. Actually, I'm not just mixing it, I'm drinking it. If you wanna really flush out everything, drink this. Wow. One sip. <laughs> Done. Shukriya. Thank you so Thank you. much. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you it. Shukriya, much. shukriya. Shukriya. Thank you, Thank you. So, so how much do we owe you? How much? How much is? Nothing. It's for free. Nothing. That's our hospitality. This happened to me every single time in Pakistan. They didn't let me pay ever. Yes, you ever you're, too nice. ah, you're too nice. You're too nice. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank oh my gosh! Yes, what a gift! For you. A gift? Yep. No gifts. You crazy? It's boxy, huh? oh, oh, you're too kind. Thank you so thank much. You, Appreciate it. I'm coming back. Uh, I come back inshallah. soon. Inshallah. Inshallah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you for sure. I will come back here for sure. For sure. Shukriya, shukriya. Let's do it. I think we just need one coffee, right? So we get a coffee. With all the sweets, this might be almost three to three and a half reals, almost uh, ten dollars. Oh, okay. Yeah, almost ten dollars. And with the, with the sweets, it might go to twelve dollars or thirteen dollars maximum. So that's a deal for breakfast. Two people ate the whole menu. Well, we ate like half the menu, right? Plus we had sweets, which you shouldn't have those sweets for breakfast, but it's all good. It's really early in the morning. It's 9 a.m. now. <laughs> and we're driving through the Ru Rui neighborhood, right? We are in Rui neighborhood. Rui. And where's Rui? Rui is... This, we are all in Rui now. And, and It's a big city. Mm -hmm. Near to Matra. Okay. A city called Wadi Kabir. So if you guys don't know about Muscat, Muscat is the capital of Oman. Over 2 million people live here. 20% roughly Indian, Pakistani, Bangladeshi. Mutra, which we were yesterday at the market that is right there by the water. So we're a little more inland. You have mountains around us. You have a lot of high rise buildings, a lot of mid rise buildings. And over here, I guess a lot of government buildings as well, right? Yep. Yep. Banks, government buildings. We have also minister buildings here. And we're going for coffee at a place, a unique place, right? Yeah, we, we are going now to Al Amrat. Al Amrat. Yeah. Al Amrat is the neighborhood. Yeah, Al Amrat. Maximum road to 10 to 12 minutes destination from Rui to, to, to Al Amrat. Destination road is 12 minutes. Okay. Yeah, maximum. We're going to a special place for some coffee. Special coffee. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. I need coffee right now. I'm asleep. The good thing, you know, I like masala chai, <laughs> but it doesn't wake you up. I need like 50 cups. <laughs> and after a 20 minute drive, we're here at Coffeeologist and it's at our gas station. So Al Maha gas station right here is Coffeeologist. Okay, this is it? Nice, dude, this is great. So small coffee shop, and what do they have? Uh, just a mix of coffees, lattes. So here they have iced coffees, they have sweets, ice cream, hot coffee. I think I'm gonna get an iced coffee. What do you recommend? You've been here before, right? Yep. Okay, so maybe like a rose latte? You going for a rose latte? Or saffron. Saffron is nice. Saffron? Saffron is nice. Saffron latte. You want saffron latte cold or hot? Yeah, cold, cold. Cold. Oh, wow. It's amazing. Where is this from? It's called Shan from Myanmar. It's naturally Arabic. Okay. And it is noted with, noted with berries, cherry, and pineapple. Pretty cool process to make this saffron latte. So they put saffron like cream all over the glass, then they mix in the milk with saffron, then they make it hot, and then they put more milk, so cold and hot milk, then they add a shot of espresso, and that's it. Shukriya, or chokran. It was good, right? Oh, my friend here is too much. He's like, oh, you gotta try one of the cookies, they're really good. I'll try a cookie right now, though. Oh, I had so much food today. Mmm. It's nice, man. Mmm. Saffron with the milk. This is so unique. Never had something like this. Mmm. Wow. Very nice. And if you don't want the ice, they'll remove that. But for me, you know, it's hot outside. I need some ice. Wow. That's so nice. Saffron latte. Yep. It's the first time I try it. And then I'm going to try a little cookie. Blueberry. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
It's a crumbly. Love the blueberry icing. Mm hmm. I lick it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh man. My friend, I am done. It was 7 a.m. at the Pakistani place. Yes. Amazing. Wow, Punjab sweets a must visit when you come to Muscat in the Rui neighborhood. You can get there five in the morning. You can have halva puri, you can have parata, you got chana, dar, raita, pani puri. I mean, we tried everything, burfi, gulab jamun. I mean, it was a nonstop, like flavor explosions. Yep. Oh. And ending with the coffee. Ending with the coffee here at Coffeeologist. Awesome spot. So we drove only 20 minutes to get to here. Beautiful place, small boutique, you know, coffee shop right here next to this gas station. A must visit. And my friend, thank you so much, Hussein. Most welcome. Thank you for introducing me to that amazing Pakistani breakfast and to this coffee spot. Guys, I hope you love the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content and definitely try this saffron latte. Enjoy it. This is very nice. Woohoo!